Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve the Xbox application error code message 0x80070005 that you are experiencing on your Windows computer. And the full error message reads that something unexpected happened. Reporting this problem will help us understand it better. You can wait a bit and try again or restart your device. That may help. So, this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, typically, this error is associated with trying to save a game file to another hard drive. So, let's say it's a D drive in our case. So, we're going to go ahead and address that in today's tutorial. It could be any drive letter on your computer. It could be the D, E, F, G, doesn't really matter, whatever your backup or secondary storage drive is. So let's say it's going to be the E drive in our case. So go ahead and open up File Explorer, either select the taskbar icon or go ahead and search for it. And then you want to double click on that drive. So in our case, it's the E drive. Now right click in a blank area in this folder. And there may be other folders in here, that's fine. But we're going to go ahead and right click inside of here. Select New and then select Folder. You want to right click on this folder and select Properties. Select the Security tab and then select Advanced at the bottom. And where it says owner, click on the change button. And you want to go ahead and type in everyone. And you want to select check names. And then select OK. And once you've done that, you want to go ahead and check mark where it says replace owner on subcontainers and objects. And then select apply. Select OK. And now that you've done that, select OK again. And select OK. Rename this folder. So right click on it and select the little rename icon. You can select the keyboard shortcut too. It's F2 and you'd want to type in WP, capital W, lowercase p, system. Exactly how you see it on my screen. Hit enter and now that you've done that I would suggest closing out of here and then restarting your computer. And there you go, guys. Now, if you were trying to save your game files to that other hard drive that we were just modifying, you should be good to go. You may have to change the directory in Steam's settings if you're selecting a different output directory. But that's just something that's going to be specific in your case. But pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.